Hey guys, it's me again, Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio up here. And uh, this one's kind of going to be an unusual and interesting video. Uh, this is the radio that we'll be testing. It's, uh, it's, a, it's out of a, a 67 Plymouth Barracuda. It's just an AM radio. Uh, customer has requested that the radio be converted to modern electronics with FM and all that cool stuff. Now, there's a, there's a, there was a little bit of a hitch there is... This is how much of the radio the customer sent me. Now, of course, this is not the same model, but this is this. Basically, this the customer sent me the front panel with the with the tuner assembly, uh, and the linkage and the volume control, and that's it. <laughs> that's all he sent me. Uh, he apparently thought that this mounts into the dash this way, you know, and that thus there wouldn't be a need to have a, a cabinet around the unit which would be understandable because you know most of your home consoles if you pull out the uh, radio section it's going to be just like this it's not going to have a cabinet on the back of it because the insides the back of the radio is already protected by the interior of the unit so um, now this customer sent even less than this because uh, in his tuner someone had stolen all three coils out of the tuner so I was forced to grab a coil out of a different type of radio and put it into this uh, Plymouth Trans Audio Unit and since of course it came without a cabinet um, I do have about 25 years experience working in the HVAC trade which means you make things out of sheet metal all day so I made this cheap little little whip together cabinet real quick I made it as small as possible uh, so that there's no hassles with a uh, with a uh, installing the unit which incidentally mounts from the back and the control shafts go through the dash holes and nuts go around the shafts that's that's how this radio is mounted now some of these radios have a rear support but this is 28 gauge steel <laughs> so it's just not going to add any appreciable weight the, the radio is very, it, it is front heavy you can see that the radios it's it's very front heavy so you're not going to need a rear support for this little radio so uh, now that I've shown all the extra work I had to do to get the thing you know to get an entire radio put together um, let's go ahead and test it and make sure it actually works okay get our antenna plugged in here okay power up my bench setup Turn the radio on. I got it set to FM at the moment. I have all five station presets set to stations in my area. Because this tuner has a different coil than it's supposed to, the uh, the stations tend to be a little bit bunched to the right side. There's not much activity on this side of the dial. It's because that coil is not the right coil for the tuner. It does still pick up all stations. They're just not going to be in the exact same place. Let's turn it on. We'll just run through the presets real quick. Percent financing available. New year. Okay, now we're going to go to AM, which we do by turning the unit off and then right back on within about half a second. So here we go, off on. Okay, now we're on AM. We get one strong station around here. Whoops. Knob slipped off the shaft there. Okay, there's our AM, and while we've got it on talk radio, let's demonstrate our balance and fader functions. This radio, it'll power up to four speakers now, uh, and so therefore it has a left-right balance and a front-rear fader. It's all in the tone control. I'm going to show you how to how to activate and use those functions. Okay, we're going to activate our virtual front-rear fader by giving our tone control two turns to the right. So here we go. Adjust. Okay, now we're going to need our meters so we can see the results of our adjustment all the way left. We're using the same tone knob for all this. All the way rear, all the way front, rear. Okay, I'm going to center, let the function time out. Fader set. Okay, now let's adjust the left-right balance. Okay, same knob, all the way left, all the way right, left, right. And I'm just got here to tell you that American Center. Family Insurance wants to protect balance set. Okay, so that takes care of that. So, you know what? That's it. That takes care of all the functions. Uh, just for fun, let's go ahead and run all the way down the FM dial just to make sure we pick up a few more stations than the ones I have preset. And as I mentioned before, this side of the dial is going to be kind of dead. Things with me. 
Gordon Feliz for you. Here's a brief summary of the two o'clock news. To be an APT because I'm ready. So that takes care of it. Um, I wasn't counting probably 15, 20 FM stations at least. Uh, so the unit's ready to go back. It's fully functional. And I'm probably going to quit for the day because this is video number 7 for the day. And that includes having surpassed the 800 mark. So I'm kind of jazzed about that. And that even kind of stresses me out a little bit. So <coughs> I'm Barry with Barry's 8-Track and Classic Car Radio. <coughs> Repair. And if you send me a unit without a cabinet, <laughs> I'll have to make a cabinet for it, and you're going to get charged a little bit more for that. Uh, so this uh, this unit comes from Paul in Corsicana, Texas, and it's for a 67 Plymouth Barracuda. He's probably going to have some difficulty installing it, but uh, full instructions are included. Uh, it's possible, since he thought that this unit would just drop in from the, from the front, it's He's probably going to need a, a, an installer to help him get the thing in there and all that stuff and hooked up correctly. And I don't know how many speakers he wants to use either. So at any rate, uh, the job's done. Everything's working right, and I'm ready to get out of here. Uh, thanks so much for watching and listening. My website's in the description below. Please visit that before calling me with questions. And thanks for watching and listening. We'll see you guys next time. And thank you, Paul, for your business all the way from Corsicana, Texas.